did it catch the side of the seat back? All right. There's a few things I have to do with the ballista. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but it bows when I pull her back because this front plate isn't as strong as I thought it would be. So, I found some stronger plate. Like, that That boy's thick. So I'm gonna get out the plasma cutter and cut me out the hole and everything and cut out this part and then I'm gonna weld it all together so hopefully it's super strong and doesn't bend at all. That's the plan anyway, but we'll see how much it works. But here's the hope. So I got it marked out for where I need to cut it. So I'm going to cut her up real quick and then I'll weld her to that. And hopefully we can get going. So I was originally just going to do the grinder, but that's a little too slow for my liking. So, I'm going to pull out the plasma cutter and I'm going to plasma cut it out because I'm lazy. But that's the way I'm doing it. So, let's, let's get to it. I got the thing cut out and I shaped the hole in it. But the plasma torch wasn't working the way I wanted to. So, I decided to go for some acetylene. Because ochre is a jack of all trades. Just kidding, I can barely do anything. But I know how to do some things. So we're gonna just do it with a acetylene torch. It'll be nice and easy. And then I'll get her welded up and we'll be done. All right, um, we would have been done today. However, I ran out of oxygen in the acetylene torch. So looks like we're gonna have to pick it up tomorrow or the next day because i have a basketball game but that's besides the point i'm done for today i got other plans to attend to and look who's here i gotta thank kevin from dirt bike fab for getting uh ben to buy this like it's the best present dad ever got me you need help nah probably Ben's got it. Oh, you need you need help now. No. You got it. You didn't need me. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Ben fixed my lawnmower, but I broke it the very first time. So good thing we have the mowator because this lawn, it's terrible. So I brought Ben, brought the remote, brought the mower. So we're gonna see if he can't help me out here. Let's get after it. Okay, we loaded up. Let's get the lawn done and get out of here. What, you don't want to stay here for a hundred years? No, no. Okay, right. are you going to lift it out by your big man self? No. No. I'm going to have you help. Looks like Ben's working hard. Yes, I am. Is this what it means when I ask you to go mow the lawn? This is exactly what it means. the grass while they're just standing there. <laughs> Is this like the TV and the wife can't touch the remote or you're going to let me? As a wife mowator, I just want to say thank you. Ben loves mowing the lawn and it's kind of fun watching them. It's called Play at Work. Wow, I am blind. That's <laughs> look into the sun. <laughs> anyway, let's do a little mower competition here. Oh, okay. I'm game for it. I'm gonna it. use the electric version. Electric? Yeah. You're gonna man mow and I'm gonna get it done. <laughs> let's see. Challenge accepted. My area 
you finished first. First, but it was small. And, and he has some carnage over there. I broke uh, the sprinkler. Yeah, I had a little lower than that. I don't know. So, so technically, he finished first. And cost more money. But I'm the one that ended up getting it done because I asked you to come. So that's like I did everything. I win. Girl math. But I got to play with an RC car. Hey, now, you did take an easier path. All right. Adding the final touches to the ballista or hope to be final touches. But I got that front plate all cut out. So now I just got to weld her together. So we'll see if my welding skills live up to my expectations or not. But we'll get right to that. And hopefully this will work this time. So let's get to it. All right, I got the front brace welded on. Don't mind the welds too much. They're a little jank, but they work. And so now this thing's super strong. I mean, that is one whole piece right there. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna let that cool down because I don't want to splash the water to cool it down because it might crack the metal and everything. So I'm just let it, um, what is that? Air dry, I guess you could call it that. I'm just gonna let it do that and then I'll put the arms and I'll put it all back together and we'll see if she shoots any better. She should, but you never know, so we'll see. But I'll put away Dad's tools so he doesn't get mad at me and so we can find them again and we'll let that cool. So. Test ran number two on the ballista. Let's see how she flies. That works a lot better. Okay, today, this is what we got going on. I'm gonna get back onto the shop and doing some stuff on that, but I gotta do uh, a bolt fix real quick. See this? Look at this. We got a broken bolt right there. So we're gonna see if we can extract that and uh, put it back together for the neighbor on his little uh, talon here, so yeah. 12s, 14, yeah it must be a 14, see the head pipe, right there it's cracked, so we'll have to take that off and TIG it, we're going to tear this parts down, or break it, or both, but let's see if we can get this off. Oh, it's loose, that's good. It's good and it's not, but that's probably why it uh, fractured. Not having it supported. One is the loneliest number until there's two. I'm gonna have to go rip this thing down the road. I'm endeavor. I've never drove a turbocharged Talon. Probably shouldn't ride it because then I want one. All right, there's another one. So I got to find a couple washers for the other bolts because the one side's broke off. So yeah, we'll have to find some of those. All right, we got this pipe off and check this out. Kind of hard to see right there, but there's a there's a pinhole right there in it. And it cracked all the way around. Cause, see this bracket? It's supposed to be connected right there and it's busted all out. So we'll pull that bracket out and we'll weld it all up, support it and weld the pipe. Put her back in. All right, we're gonna see if we can take this pipe together, so.
Okay, manifolds repaired. On to the next. All right, last couple days been working on the ballista. And since last video, you guys have given me some tips. So I'm going to try to apply a few of them. But Finn and I were taking off the ballista. And I fired it so many times, the ballista has now molded itself to the barrel. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. But it's like stuck up in there. So we're going to have to like cut around it or find some way to get that out. But we'll get there and we'll make some improvements and have a bare ballista all around. So let's get after it. So today I get be a mechanic uh, since, you know, I don't know how it happened, but somehow uh, it died, you know, it, it wasn't me. Anyways, um, I got to, I got to jump start it so I can charge the battery and dad will be happy with me. So that's what I'm going to do. Might have killed it. You might have. Might have. Well, that's all right. We can charge her right up with our assistance of Top Don. Okay, we'll get some charge back in it, and then uh, we'll turn the key off. All right, I've been cooking up some ideas, and I think the first thing I need to make the ballista shoot stuff better is to have something that will actually shoot, because you don't want to. Like in shooting guns, you don't want to load the wrong ammunition in the wrong gun. So I need to build a ballista bolt so then I get the max out of what I'm making. So I'm in the sticks right now and I'm trying to find the straightest piece of wood I can ever find because I don't have giant wooden dowels, but I do have all this nature around me. So I'm going to try to find a stick and then I'm going to shape it up, shave it down and build the ballista bolt out of it. So. Come with me and let's find a stick. All right, now I've either found a very good thing or a very bad thing. But I found this giant pipe. And it's a little tall, but that's nothing a grinder can't fix. So I think I'm going to use this as my bolt. I mean, it's pretty, pretty sturdy, pretty straight. It's got a lot of mass. And with uh, the improvements we're making the ballista, Hopefully the blister will have enough tension to launch something like this. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I've been telling you about the improvements I've been making, but I haven't explained what they are. One of the improvements is we're going to sand down the edges so there's less friction when the thing's coming through. And I have my trusty assistant, also known as my best kid brother. That's just because you're injured. That's why I'm about that. That's fine. <laughs> Anyway, he's going to do this for me. He's already got a lot done, but he's got a little bit to go. And then we'll put that back on there and get everything buttoned back up. And we'll see if we can launch something. All right, Finn and I have done all of our necessary things. So we're going to start buttoning her back together. All right, archaeologist or historian or whatever you were trying to say, but let's get started doing this, all right? Put me a pair of vice grips on this thing, and it cracked right loose. So I'll be able to spin that out, and we'll uh, get us a new bolt on it. That's a good deal. All right, found me a stud, which is pretty cool. So I'll just cut the end off of it because it has a closed acorn nut. So we'll cut the end off, make it look factory looking, um, clean up everything, take that mount off, and we'll weld that up and put everything back together. So, yeah. Cool. Factory! Okay, we'll take this brace out now and we'll see if we can get it uh, fixed. Alright, engine drop. Love it. 
I'll see if we can get her fixed. That's a that's quite a mess. All right, got the bracket all done, bolted in, put the skid plate back on it, and then we'll go around it. We'll check all the items, make sure everything's tight. I found some roll cage bolts loose. So we'll just do a check over. All right, we got the ballista set back up and we're gonna test fire, see if she works a little better this time. Only one way to find out, so let's do it. as far as I thought. Okay, well one of our viewers said we might have to angle this more up. So let's try that. All right, we put a slight more angle on it. So hopefully it shoots a little further. We load the bolt. We got a new ballista bolt. This one's out PVC, so it's a little lighter. And we'll see if it can go a little further. Did it catch the side of the seat? Back? <laughs> we got that camera, right? Woo! <laughs> um, don't use PVC pipe. Yeah, the thing kind of fell apart. Well, it was gonna work, but then it caught the seat belt on the end. Uh, uh, and that was my last piece of pipe. She's alive. No leaks. Okay, one more thing done. I'll tighten up the cage bolts and uh, go over the rest of it. Well, I pulled the front windshield out so I can get to these bolts, at least the back side of them. I've got to pop this bracket off to get to the nut on the back side of these. Tighten these up. Make it easy? <laughs> Why? All right, um, it's time to hop back on the square body. I just got done adding some improvements to the ballista. And there's more to come on that, but that's for future ochre. But present ochre has to put a rear view mirror in the square body because it doesn't have one. And it's kind of nice to have one so you can see what's behind you. But that's what I'm going to be doing. Put a little adhesive on the back of this button. Now I could just kind of hold this for a long time. Only an hour. Yep, yeah, only an hour? What? An hour. Dad thinks he's so funny. I tell you what. He's funny. Looking. Funny looking. I told you. <laughs> when this thing's done with me, it's gonna be pimped out. Is it? It, it is, Dad. Nice. Tell you what. That's what I'm talking about. Ah. Uh, it's guaranteed to maybe sort of kind of hold. That'd be alright. Uh, yep. Proven and stand corrected by Ochre Cox. Alright, it's finally had a little bit to set. So, I'm putting my mirror on. And it just goes on easy like that. And now I have a mirror. <laughs> Check done. It's all back together. We'll go take it for a test burn. See what it does.
there's my people. Hey, there we are. I'm right here. I'm right here. All right, we had a lot of uh, little end stuff, and but but we got her done. Yep. And we didn't close it out, and we're we're sorry about that. So here's us closing it out. And we appreciate you guys for watching. So Thank much. you. You have no idea. It helps out yes. a lot. And there's other. There's Finn. <laughs> Hi, Finn. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching.